ladies, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing a how I created November's Ipsy bag on my face. So this is what I ended up doing. I pretty much did the rest of my makeup before I got in camera except the products that I'm going to be showing you which I obviously filmed. But yeah, I wanted to go over just the few things that I did get in this month's Ipsy, which I was super excited to share with you guys because as you know last month I really didn't get to do this video which was a lip stain by The Bomb which I absolutely love. I did feature that in my favorites video but I'm not about to get on camera for one product and show you guys how it applies when you guys already know how to apply a lipstick. I wasn't really able to incorporate any other products from the bag into the look because like the rest of it was like tweezers and like skincare stuff. But this month they sent me just a bunch of good stuff and I was able to incorporate everything in this video so I'm really excited. And if you do like this video, let me know. Definitely like this video so I can keep pushing out videos like this whenever my Ipsy comes in. And uh, I do have another video like this. I think it was... Um, September's Ipsy I did a video like this where I used everything in my Ipsy bag to create one look and I will link that one down below as well if you guys are interested in seeing that this is what November Ipsy's bag looks like and right when I opened my package and I saw this bag I was like oh my gosh yes I was so 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 excited about it it's Galaxy what more can I like say seriously this is like amazing I absolutely love the bag and this month's bag is called Beauty Blast first thing that I pulled out was this Tucker Ashley um, moisturizer and I did not film this I forgot to film this part of the video because it was like way in the beginning of obviously before I put any foundation or makeup on and um, it did apply on really really smooth it's very hydrating also got a nail polish when I saw it I opened it up and I was just like dude this is like the perfect nude for my nails because I'm kind of more of like a tannish complexion so like when I find nudes they're a little bit washed out and they're like white practically on my nails they're not really a nude if you understand what I'm saying I don't know maybe you don't have the color on my nails today I just applied them as little accent nails and I love the color. navy gel liner and this is by Beauty Basics and it did come with a little liner brush which I do love because sometimes you know people don't typically use gel liners and if you don't have a gel liner brush and you can't really apply the gel well you can but you know what I'm saying you, it's nice that it did come in a combo so I used this and I'll be showing you guys how I ended up applying that for this also look. got the Smashbox full exposure mascara which I ended up loving as well this is a very very good mascara also got the Trustique mini matte lip pencil and this was bomb.com you guys this month's ipsy was legit one of the best that I've had in a while. Most of the things in the Ipsy bag were my style and my color and I absolutely loved that. The only thing that I was just like whatever about was the gel liner but it ended up proving me wrong because I absolutely love it on my eyes. I'm not really like a big fan of applying any liners on my lids because I haven't done it in a while. Absolutely loving it and I'm thinking about bringing it back for a bit because I've been going without it for the longest just because I like the look. And I like that it doesn't make my lids look as closed. It kind of like opens it when I don't wear liners. I used to do the cat wing all the time. And lately I just haven't been doing it. Well, not lately, but like for uh, over a year. So I'm contemplating on getting an Ipsy. It's only $10 a month, which is amazing. And you get like five or six full size to, you know, deluxe size products, which will be worth it in the long run, I'm telling you. See how you like it for a couple months and decide whether or not you want to keep it. It's something that you can like subscribe to if you're not really feeling it or whatever but I'm you won't feel that way you're gonna want to keep getting it because it's like Christmas every month like who doesn't like that <laughs> and I will leave a referral link down below if you are interested in subscribing to it I guess that's enough of me rambling in this part of the video and we're just gonna jump right into the tutorial pretty much done the rest of my makeup the only things that I didn't do were the gel liner my lips and mascara since I do have all these from the little bag that I got and I'm gonna start off with the gel liner yes come on you can do it you can do 
ahead. Go ahead. Seriously? This is a gel liner and it is in the shade Navy. And it did come with a brush, which I do like. It does have like a pointier tip and I definitely like that. It seems like it could be a little bit dense, which is going to be great for control. My apologies if I am sounding like a freaking man right now. I am kind of like going through this like phase where I am sick and I've been sick for the past couple days or so and I'm trying to like fight it and get through it and it's causing my voice to sound crazy, so. But I really wanted to get this video out. So yeah, just sorry about that. I'm gonna quickly zoom you guys in. What I did with the dots is I just took the back end of the brush and I just dipped it into the gel liner, kind of placed dots below the wings and then just dipped a little bit more product on the brush itself and then kind of filled it in so if there was any like circle areas that I didn't fill in quite well just like by dotting it then I was able to just fill it in and make it look more circular. And um, yeah, I actually like the gel liner. It glided on really, really smooth. It didn't crust or didn't flake or clump or anything like that when I applied it on the lids. I love this blue color. And it obviously pairs really well with a neutral eye if you're going for a little pop or you know, just doing something different. Um, I know a lot of girls don't typically go for a blue gel liner and this would be an awesome look to wear. So you are getting some use out of your product. To um, grab my eyelash curler and grab the mascara that they sent me. And this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I love the wand on this, it's super thick and looks like it give you pretty good volume on your lashes. I'm just applying the first coat on the bottom and top lashes and then I'm going to be applying falsies. I hate my lashes because they don't curl the way I'd like them to. Like y'all saw me curl them and of course I apply this mascara on and they just like stick straight out. Basically uncurled. Like there was no point in curling them. They're such a pain in my mmm. So far I'm liking the mascara. I feel like I need to get a couple uses out of it to really like fully determine how I'm going to end up liking it overall. I'm going to quickly apply on some false lashes. I'm going to move on to the lipstick. This is by the brand Trustique and this is a mini matte lip crayon and this color is so so pretty. And I seriously think it's going to be perfect with this eye look. So that was a definitely a your lips but better shade. Like this actually matched my lip undertones perfectly when I applied it on. It just kind of like gave it a little bit more color and it didn't really stray away from my natural color, which I kind of like. And like I said, it looks 
perfect with this eye color and like the transition shades that I did apply for that and I wasn't even expecting it to be like that but that's pretty awesome. I love how creamy this matte lipstick is and I just like how easy it was to apply. I love that it's matte and this is a really 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 pretty color. I'm kind of like obsessed with it. I was not expecting it to look like this for some reason. But yeah that is everything for this makeup look. I'll kind of just zoom in so you guys can check it out. So that is everything for this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've mentioned, then just comment down below and let me know what's up. Like this video if you found it helpful, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I do have a link if you are interested in joining Ipsy and getting yourself a subscription. It's down below, so definitely go check that out. And I'll also have my Twitter, my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my vlogging channel around this area, and the links for that will also be down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, ladies, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.